Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the vlog. So this week guys, it has been another week of painting, filming, editing, all the usual stuff. Um, but also, we've had some interesting weather, which as you know, I like to tell you about. Um, so it's all been a bit dramatic this week. Um, let's start on Monday. So my husband and I went for a little walk, which we tried to do quite regularly. And because we've got the coastal walk, literally five minutes out the door, we like to use it. So we went a slightly different way to our usual route. And we went over towards Rincey Point. So as we were walking along and the sun was kind of beginning to get a bit lower in the sky, the sea was just incredibly calm. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen the sea that calm. It was really cold as well. It, I think it was probably zero. Um, and I happened to have my camera and as I just stood there filming, it just looked like the sea just looked like a mirror, especially with the sun kind of reflecting on it and it was just so bizarre. It was really quite um, awesome as well as, as well as just beautiful. It was just, yeah, breathtaking to see. So that happened on Monday and then Tuesday, it snowed, which is kind of unheard of in these parts. Um, I think the last time it really properly snowed was maybe 2010, but yeah, it's very few and far between. Snow days rarely happen, um, so there was a lot of excitement in the village the day it started snowing. When I say snow, uh, I'm not talking like feet, I'm talking like probably one centimetre, half a centimetre of snow. So yeah, it wasn't like an amazing amount, but the fact was it did snow and it settled for a tiny bit, but even that tiny bit still caused a lot of disruption on the roads around the area because people don't expect it to snow and if it snows, they don't expect it to settle. So um, a lot of the vehicles around this area don't have wouldn't be wearing snow tires or, or weather tires, you know, which would probably have helped in the situation. So I know on the roads, it did actually get pretty hairy for some people. And we went into Truro and the road leading out towards that way, you could just see cars which had been abandoned and they were on the side of the road. Um, and there were quite a few um, breakdown vehicles collecting cars. <laughs> So even just that small amount of snow caused quite a bit of um, chaos. <laughs> the thing with living um, overlooking the sea, you can see the weather coming. So I managed to um, capture this large cloud that was coming over and you could see that it was, it was dropping snow. One side, the sky looks clear and bright and the other side is dark and ominous and white and as you can see if I've sp as I speed it up you can see how quickly that weather front was coming in so I just decided to stand there and you know just <laughs> film it as it was coming in um, yeah thankfully though I didn't live too far away so I mean, even though I was caught in a little bit of it, it I wasn't really too affected by it I was also wrapped up warm so that was all good. So yeah, as you saw at the beginning of this vlog, I've been painting more details, um, trying to get out. Um, it all depends again on the weather. The thing with doing like smaller details is that it's a lot quicker to do. So I don't have to be out there for, you know, 40 minutes an hour. I can just go out for 20 minutes and draw um, like a little detail that I want to include in the book. 
and I've also been filming the the film I want to do to help raise awareness of um, the sketchbook that I want to publish and of course obviously get financial support from people which I'm a little bit terrified about asking for that help but it's the only way I'm going to be able to do this is if I get people um, committed to helping me print it and do it and so yeah I'm just trying to work on that at the moment as well as you know continue with other work also when I went to the supermarket this week I noticed they had um, one of the magazines that I help illustrate the cover for which was pretty cool and it's just best days out Cornwall so I did this at the end of last year, helped them design a cover and so it was really fun actually to do this illustration and it's really nice to see it in the flesh. Oh yeah and when we were in Truro this week we were looking for um, a blazer for my husband because we are going to be going to my brother's wedding very soon and so he wanted to find some kind of I guess a quirky kind of blazer which he could wear over his outfit and feel comfortable in. We were looking in a lot of shops trying to find something that would go with what he had already and then we came across this amazing shop, this vintage shop, so in Truro which was down one of the side streets um, and it was just brilliant because it had um, loads of vintage outfits and shirts and jeans, dungarees and also these tweed blazers that I know my husband really was liking the look of but he did find one and it fitted which was a huge bonus it was almost a fifth of the price that we'd been seeing other you know blazers for in other shops so it was really good to pick that up and find it the thing about the shop that I loved were all the lights and the retro feel and the tiles. They had like a little sewing corner with an old Singer sewing machine and then lots of buttons and threads as well as just unusual stuff. It was really interesting to, to see it and also the music they were playing was again from the 80s, 90s and reminded me of my school days so it felt very familiar being in that shop. Oh they also had this fabulous pink till as well. It always makes it easier to hand over your money if you um, actually enjoy being in the shop and you've got good customer service and yeah you're actually quite happy <laughs> to be there. Anyway guys, I hope you're well and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.